So we will call the meeting to four. At 707. Thanks everyone for joining us tonight. I will be here shortly. Uh, do we have a motion to accept the agenda? I'll move the motion. I will move the motion. Okay. And second? I'll second that. Okay, Richard, thank you. All in favor? Aye. Uh, okay. All opposed? Okay. And then the main minutes. Uh, motion to approve the main minutes. Yes, motion to approve the main minutes. Okay. And a second? I'll second. All right. Any comments, questions, corrections? Changes. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. All righty, moving right along. Uh, the planning calendar, there's actually not really much to note on that um, this this time, well, I think because we're going to touch on all of it uh, in separate reports. So rather than believe, Patty, how are you? Good to see you. We just got started. So. Um, so we can, I think, just skip over that unless anybody has anything they wanted to comment on. All right. On to the director's report. Uh, okay, so upcoming programs. Uh, on tomorrow night is team night, which is what all the supplies are there for. We're going to do... Um, <laughs> Wondering about the toilet paper. We're a little concerned about the toilet paper. Why is it like? It is a game where you unroll a, um, a thing of toilet paper from like across the table or off the floor, put a heavy object on the toilet paper, and then the kid has to roll the toilet paper back up without breaking the toilet paper. So we're doing games <laughs> with these kids. We're going to split them up into four groups. So usually we have about 20 kids, so we're hoping to have a group. And they're going to have to do the toilet paper thing. They're going to have to see who can put, what team can put a puzzle together the fastest, what team can do um, like a penny drop where you drop a penny into the water bucket and hope that it'll get to the middle cup that's submerged in the water. Um, mm -hmm. And then there's another one. Oh, they have to transfer M&Ms from one place to another using a straw. Um, so, and then we have prizes for the first place winners are going to get target gift certificates and the second place winners are going to get stewards, third place gets a box of candy and the fourth place gets a little candy. Yeah, exactly. Um, nope, that's tomorrow night. So Rebecca and I will be doing that and we'll do our usual pizza and ice cream stuff. Um, just going to try to keep them as occupied as possible. Things got a little rowdy at the last one, so we needed to... Mm -hmm. Try to rain in in a bit. Um, hopefully, it will. If it does rain, we'll do everything inside. But if it doesn't, we'll try and be outside. See if that works. And then on Saturday, we have our um, summer reading kickoff party. We are doing adopt a stuffy. You can see we have three bags and a bin of stuffed animals that are going to try and find new homes. <laughs> Frost. Um, then we're also doing our reptile show and also doing the drug prescription drug take back at the same time. So it should be an interesting, interesting crowd. Yeah. What's that? All together now. I'm not crazy about it this year. Next yeah. year is going to be great because it's all about art. It's oh, cool. your world. Or something like that. That's really nice. um, but yeah, it's, it's a little. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so book group is coming up, uh, another night of knitting and crocheting. Um, I'm going to be out starting on the, probably, I might even just say the 20th until the 26th when I'm home from our wedding that we're going to. Um, I'll probably be doing some finalizing things on like that Tuesday, but not a huge amount because I need a break. Um, and then summer camp starts on the 5th, and I haven't really gotten a tremendous amount set up yet. Um, for upcoming programs, I do wanna do, um, I have been having a lot of people asking if we're gonna do live at the library again. So I thought instead of doing live at the library with people we don't know, it's gonna be locals live at the library. So we'll ask Mike if he has time or some other people if they have time and, and do it maybe like once or twice during each month of like July, September, or July, August, and then maybe September. That way it'll hopefully draw people, you know, because we're seeing friends and, and whatnot and 
spotlighting the people of Stephentown. I thought that that might be a better way to do it than bringing people who no one knows. Um, so I have to get working on that part as well, which will be. <laughs> um, okay, so our story tone. <laughs> uh, things have been going really well in terms of programming. Last teen night, we had 20 kids. Um, Lego club, we still have, you know, a decent crew coming. We have some new kids coming now that school's over. Um, story time last yesterday, right? Today's Thursday? Yes, yesterday, 14 children, which is one of the highest numbers we've ever had. So that was, it was great. And they had a lot of fun and everybody had some, you know. D and D is going well. We had to cancel. I, no, I did not cancel. The Alzheimer's Association of Northeastern New York canceled our ten top, top ten warning signs of Alzheimer's because we didn't have enough people um, signed up. Even though we had three people registered, and I had an, at least one other person who was, I didn't register, but we're going to come. So it's just what it is. We're not going to be able to work with them because we can't get the registration they're going to want. Mm -hmm. um, oh, the other thing that's coming up too is the we're doing a blood drive on the 22nd and the new member um, event slash reception on August 6th. Um, Sarah will go over all of that. So, and then my mandala painting, I had 12 adults, one child and two teenagers and a puppy. Um, uh, that, so that went really, really well. And then yesterday we had three people or two people for the crocheting and the knitting. So, you know, it's, it's definitely getting busy. And Mahjong today was, it was packed. I don't know how many seven. people, seven, yeah. So, yeah, that was a great number. So now that the schools are letting out, it's, we're gonna be picking up back, picking back up again. Um, the other thing that's bringing up circulation right, or excuse me, um, visits right now is the expedition. <laughs> it is, we've had 250 something visits for adults to, as of today. Um, so it's, it's amazing how well it's working out and people come in at least two or three times a day and oh, your expedition. My friend, my friend, my very well. Yeah. He's my Oh, good. <laughs> well, we always try to, you know, welcome them warmly. And <laughs> um, it's very interesting to see people coming in, where they're coming from and you know, what they're interested in talking about. So it's been good. Can you explain, like, and maybe I should know, but I don't, um, what, what it is exactly, like what, what's driving people to come and what, are, are they supposed to say they went to this many libraries? And yeah, so at each library, you get a stamp and you get... Um, it's almost like a little passport, but it's a map of all of the Upper Hudson libraries, libraries and there's 36 of them. So you go to each one, you get a stamp. There's like a little scavenger hunt to take, to do. But if you make it to all 36, you become a 36er and you get a gold library card. And those of us who already did the 36 exhibition ex expedition last time, we get a platinum card. So I'm going to be working on that soon. Like, <laughs> what does that get you? Um, is that that just just it's, it's, it's totally just another card to keep in your wallet. No, but whenever you pull out that 36 card, that gold card, and they're like, oh, you're a 36 card. <laughs> We have to do, or like prizes throughout the year. So if you go to your sixth library and get a little sticker, and if you qualify, then you get an enamel sticker, you get a car decal, you know, things like that. So there's little... it mostly other librarians. Oh no, it's no, everybody, exactly. all people out of all walks. Like, would you love your library? Library? It's, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, we yeah. finish. It finishes July thirty first. So we've got we've got another month and a half. You don't have to. You can start wherever you want. Okay. You got your passport. Uh, we have passports here. Yeah. So you can get yeah, yours here. Yep. Yeah. The guy who did them. I thought he was great. I love it. Um, if you want to see it, I'll pull. I'll go grab some of the. the oh, nice. So that's good to hear. 
That's great. Yeah, I'm, we never, I've never heard anyone say, oh, this is kind of, eh. you know, it's almost everybody's always like, oh, this is beautiful. I love this place. I didn't even know it was existed. And you can give away all the stuff. Later. Oh, so maybe if yeah. those don't go, we'll. <laughs> yeah. Here, you have to take this. Uh, you don't take it. I'm taking my stamp back. <laughs> I need to stay on good terms with our fellow directors. <laughs> yeah. Some people are actually like, that's art. It's been great. Um, yeah, it, and honestly, it, it is fun to do because everybody's so excited about it. So if you get a chance, it is fun. And it is cool to see all the different places. Um, you know, my favorite was Rensselaerville. That was just, it was just a great, it's a beautiful, beautiful building. It's really old and, you know, mahogany wood and just gorgeous. So there's lots of things, you know, so if you get a chance, it's fun. I like it. I think I'm going to force my kids to do it with me again, even though they don't want to, but mm -hmm. they have, they might have to. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so yeah, so our numbers have definitely gone up because of that. And we are keeping track. Um, Upper Hudson has a way of, um, that we scan a card every time someone comes in so we can know exactly how many people come to our library. Um, actually, I could pull those numbers up in a minute if you want, but I can do that later. Uh, so visits are definitely up. Um, circulation is also up for the month, um, or for May, it was up. Nothing huge there. Registered patrons, I'm still working on getting out a list of, you know, hey, your, your library card expired. Come on back. Um, you can see how many items we took in this month. We did withdraw 92 items because I'm clearing out our reference section. Mm -hmm. um, so that's been a process, which is working slowly. Uh, okay, so we were closed on Monday for Memorial Day. Um, I've been working a lot with Ari and Jess um, getting ready for summer camp. Um, I'll let Ari talk about all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. I will say though, that we have a new food vendor for summer food. So hopefully they will do something better than they did last year, because last year was terrible. Um, they've got high hopes, so we'll see. Um, we met, building committee met, so I met with everybody there. Um, we did have just put in our blood pressure monitors. <laughs> I have two that can go out to the public and one that stays in the library. We did receive a training on how to use those with um, the American Heart Association came here and showed us how to do it. Um, we, however, are still gonna give everybody our waiver that says we are not liable if you have a heart attack. Uh, so the, hopefully those will go well. Um, and then in conjunction with those, I had a meeting with T-Mobile regarding um, their government access or uh, program to help communities um, be stay connected, basically. So they give libraries free devices and then a discounted rate on plans to then, um, so that we can hand, or loan out or keep here, depending on what we wanna do, iPads, Chromebooks, modems, phones that have hotspots or just hotspots. <laughs> So um, I met with them again this morning, which is why I didn't have it on my um, director's report, but they gave us, uh, I've got some numbers here that I would just need to run by everybody so that we can kind of see whether or not it's something that um, is so that we would like to do. My thought was to get two iPads, one for the library that stays here and one that would go out either by itself or with a blood pressure monitor and it would have then the app for the blood pressure monitor on it and someone could take it out for two weeks do all their recordings and then you know send it to their doctors or whatever we could also um, put in for telehealth medicine on them we could do i mean we could put heck i could even put like videos on it so kids people can take it home and watch a movie or you know we, there's a lot of stuff that we can do and they have things where they um they take care of everything in terms of making sure we have all the parameters set to how we want it so no one's viewing anything then they teach you uh, there's a website or a, um, an app that i would just go on to delete anything that was already on it so as soon as it comes back we can just wipe it um so they do customize it they also give you free um screen protectors and cases for all of the things um if the device does not come back we can shut it down they call it 
brick wall, bricking it, I think. <laughs> um, and then they give you a new one free of charge, no cost. Um, they they say they understand that this is what these what happens, and if you know it happens, and hopefully people will give it back. But if they don't, they understand. So it's shut down and realize you can't do anything else. Exactly. But then you've got people who are all embarrassed because oh, I had it shut down on me. Now what do I do? But if we know who took it out, we can at least reach out. So, and it would only go out to people here. They would not be requestable. Just like the blood pressure monitors are not requestable. They're can only be taken out here. Do the other libraries get those? Um, I want to say Voorheesville and um, Troy Lansingburg. There might've been one other. But not everybody did, so. No, not everyone's doing it, but it, it's also been one of those like a slow roll. So yeah. I'm, my guess is that it'll start to go out. I'm no caller. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so well thought out it is very well thought out and they did show us um this area is covered primarily by the 4g network which is 4g lte there are some spots that are 5g and then a couple of little tiny blips in the mountains that don't get any service which <laughs> um so you know there's little spots that you can't use it for but i mean it's not a a big thing but one of the things that they also were telling me about was where they have um a it's called, where is it? Uh, a Samsung Galaxy, oh, that's a tablet. It's a phone, you know, you get a, uh, you can do a phone and then it has a hotspot in it. So someone can use that device as a hotspot or as you can use it for, you know, whatever else you need. My thought had been, let's do um, the two iPads and then um, see how that goes. And then if we can do it more, that would be great. So. But that's kind of it's kind of neat. It's yeah. like yeah, we can have yeah. that app, and they can keep track of it all, and um, you can wipe it once you're back. Exactly. Um, so it's how long would you load the iPad though? Um, I would. It would be a week, and then a renewable for another week if we if they really need. It. Um, so we would keep one here though to use with our um. Our thing but then we can also use we can actually update our square and use the square uh, credit card um thing on that instead of using the old one that we have because we have a very very old ipad that i don't know it's going to last for much longer um but let me just find out where the line is so you get an 18 percent discount on the line so it would be for ipads it would be 19 dollars 27 per ipad a month so it does it's gonna, it would go up a little bit. So per year for two iPads, it would be about $462 plus taxes and you know, whatever taxes we can't get out of because we're, we're um, even though we're tax exempt, there are some that you still have to pay. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it would be another a cost that we would have to decide that, you know, is that something we wanna give a try, try it for a year, see how it works or not, you know. So I wanted to put that out there and just, um, I can send this email back out to everybody if you want, and just be, everyone can take a look at it and then let me know what the thought is. Or would the focus be um, that people would do it in tandem with the blood pressure machines? Would that be our push, or no? Do it for whatever no, reason? I would say just, just one of their options. Yeah, I'd say that's just a, a perk that uh -huh. you can you know use that blood pressure monitor too. Mm -hmm. So. Um, for a commitment for a period of time. So basically, if no one uses it, we can dump it. Yep. We could definitely do that. Yeah, I, I think that makes it more appealing because it is not nothing money wise, and things right. are so hard to judge what's going to actually get used. And an example that, um, you know, we can say, okay, we monitor it and give it whatever, four or six months, and yeah, then it's, it's like, like it's really give it shot for three months. See yeah. Usage is whether it's bad or not. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I will make sure that there's no commitment. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I'm like 99.9% .9 positive she said there was none, but I will make sure first before we go and say we'll commit to that. Um, and so for the $19, whatever, 25 or something, mm -hmm. but yep. is that like 
unlimited data. It's unlimited. Really, yep. It's not like one person will borrow it and then do the rest of it. Nope, okay. unlimited data. Um, yep. Uh, it says T Mobile Q2 promos on government unlimited for tablets plan. It's originally $23.50, but now there's a New York State um, discount of 18%, which then brings it to the 1927, which is, includes 11 gigabytes data of the hotspot that is put into it. But you, it is a 64 gigabyte iPad ninth generation. So it's a $460 value. But they also can adjust it and change things so that we can add different languages onto it if we had, you know, we don't have a big Spanish population, but if we did, we could do that. They can change things so that it can be you know, easier to be read by, you know, older eyes or whatever. So we can try, but yeah, monthly service, voice, unlimited voice, text, and data. We would ask to have that done. We would, I would figure that out. I'm going to reach out to the other libraries that have iPads and, you know, what kind of controls they have. Because, um, yeah, I, we don't need anyone it coming back with like porn or whatever well, sites on it. So. So I, I know, I do. So yeah, so I don't know if, if you want to look through this again, like look through this email that I have or, and then make, let me know if it sounds good or if you want to just say, let's go ahead and try it for six so months. So. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, it's probably month, so six months and commit to that. Yeah. I mean, if I, I think I'd be comfortable saying move forward if there's absolutely no commitment. Yeah. And, then, and if we can, I think, evaluate, you know, three months and then and like not saying go count three months. Right. And, and, and then there's do they provide any solution for your presence now? Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. Device promos change every quarter. The cost of the plan will stay the same, assuming you are on the New York State OGS. So I don't know what that stands for. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> so that must be the devices that would change if we were to do it. Yeah. So the plan just stayed the same. Thanks. Um, so yeah. So give it a try. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Okay. So and so we're gonna try two, one that circulates and one that stays here. Mm -hmm. The one that stays here, is it for people to use while they're here? Yep. Yep, they can borrow it just like they could. So the, the thing is that oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm the same way that year. Oh no, I was gonna um, say, why do we need data? That that, that to me doesn't make sense if we're gonna keep it here. We have all that then. Right. It only makes sense for one that circulates. And also, if they're going to use it here, are they going to be able to listen to things on it? Yeah, we get headphones. I'll get headphones. Oh, well, they definitely in <laughs> Well, but that's like, yeah. I mean, it's, we have tablets right now, and if you don't have earbuds, you, you can't have to listen. Oh, ours talks. No, yeah, we can. Well, it's, it's for our audio guys. Yeah. <laughs> audio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, that's a good question. Yeah, why would we be paying for a data plan for someone going to keep here? Maybe, maybe you only pay if they take it out for the data. Well, no, because they would still use the Wi Fi to so that their data service. So we would only get one yeah. then to yeah. lend out. That's the other, yeah. I mean, we'd have to definitely look through it and see if it was worth the money that we're spending per month if no one's taking the thing out to use. But that's what would be the way down. Maybe we only get one. Mm -hmm. And we make it available to circulate. To and take it's out. not circulating, we see it stop using it all. But yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. All right. I think that's a better idea. Um, like that. Check with Pittsfield. I don't know if they have iPads that they don't have or not. I would be surprised if they did. They did not. If they did. Yeah, I would be surprised if they did not have one. Yes. Yeah, so, so, did you want, are you good? Yeah. EOG is for We are. Uh, sure. We are. I, I get discounts 
with like Northco and all those because the uh, we have some kind of something that we oh, through the state. Oh. Yeah. So I think we are on it. Yeah. I think <laughs> like it might be official like OGS, but if they are oh, okay. Okay. I think we either are or <laughs> I'm pretty sure we are because that's and in any event all that means is that ISIS is okay. that's what it says. Yeah. Right. So we two thirty one a year if we're gonna have right? Yes. Well plus okay. taxes. Because we're not completely taxed, but there's those like the yeah. nine one one tax. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um okay, so that was all of that that was kind of my my bigger thing for this month. Um I did um, but then for the after I wrote the report, uh, in terms of the veterans, um, we're moving closer to getting them, letting them use uh, their space for their statue that they have. Um, I can actually, I pull it up. <laughs> it, it is years in the making. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, there we've got. Um, Dennis is is trying to push it more didn't realize that you know, the shelving's movable and that we can do all these things and um but he was very um, impressed with our the pictures that we have up around the library and you know was coming up with some other ideas about maybe we could do a spotlight on the soldiers or something like that that we can kind of keep going together this is a, a, a replica of the image of that's the, and how tall? It's 15 inches. It's not like, yeah. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's the life size version. <laughs> There's a couple of different ones. Nothing I don't like. That's just on the wrong side, but that's just the thing. So it's These crutches you put the yeah. on the side. Yeah. So I'm kind of like, mm. <laughs> maybe he decided that that is was maybe a one stick and not a foot. No, it's a bunch. Yeah, it's under his arm. Oh, yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> maybe, uh, <laughs> like, all right. <laughs> <That's the Asian laughs> yeah, the sure it'll be easy to do. Um, so, and then he did send me also the wording for stand that they would look in that the sculptor gave. There is one section of the so this the, um, the wording that the, it's called stand for the flag. It's the sculpture, and it's a Vietnam vet standing to salute the honor uh, the American flag as the parade honor guard approaches. So he writes the base represents a sidewalk and the curb. The soldier lost his leg and is reminded each step he has taken since that bad afternoon south of Da Nang. Yet he is still a true patriot as he clenches his teeth in an attempt to hold back his tears as the symbol of his country approaches him and he snaps firmly to attention. How many people stay firmly planted in their lawn chairs as the parade honor guard passes by? A disgrace to our country, but those, but more so to those wounded warriors standing next to him. That last paragraph, I'm a little like, yeah. So I don't think we need to, right. So I was thinking we could probably just put the first, the first three paragraphs. <laughs> I think it will be, but I'm talking to Dennis and so make have to make sure. Um, so I showed him the spot. He's very excited to see that. And then he also has um, I don't know if everyone saw, but back when they did that um, the photojournalism um, thing at one of the celebrate Stephen Towns that um, the of the Tet Offensive, yeah. um, he has an image of the. Um, the poster that they used and with the man's signature and he said he would love to display that on the same spot so we would have the sculpture the poster and then the saying from the, the sculpture mm -hmm. and he seems like he's he's ready to make it happen as much as he possibly can so i just said i would put it to you guys let you know i'll know what the plan is and then did you guys have this sculpture yeah already? it's yeah it's just sitting somewhere I don't know, it's probably at Phyllis and John's house, I guess. And so what's the location? The um, in the new section of like, so those new, mm -hmm. um, right in the middle of the, so the, you get the three different shelves, oh. the middle shelf on the top. 
that way it's away from little hands, mm -hmm. but still yeah. very visible. So, you yeah. know. Um, and if we find out that it doesn't work out, like we try it and it's not working, we'll try another spot. But I think that that's so what, the perfect if, for it. If it worked out, like what's the um, time commitment? Like are we taking this indefinitely or? That's a good question. I don't think we have. I don't think that we got that far. <laughs> I think it was kind of more like, let's just get it here first. <laughs> try it out for a month. My guess is they would have to move yeah. around. Unless they've some where like down the, few, down the road get a building of their own. Yeah. yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. So I thought that was a good idea, but I would let you guys know and see what everyone thought. Um, make sure everyone's okay with it before we go ahead and say yes and then go from there. So. Sound good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is it super, super valuable? Um, I don't know. I don't know what the value is. I think it's not an action. I, I think it might be a study of it. Um, like a replica. Yeah, I don't necessarily think it's. I was wondering if it's something that would, would just like not be a big deal on insurance, or if insurance would say, "Oh, you should have had that listed," you know. Yeah, that's a good question. Good question. Mm -hmm. um, or because we don't own it, would it be covered on our insurance? If we have yeah. I'll ask, I'll ask that because that's a good question. Um, insurance. Okay, I'll, um, I'll send this back to Dennis and ask him if he knows. Um, and then, um, so, uh, so we have that. So okay to, to move forward with that, Venom? Is that good to go? Yeah, we're gonna get the insurance question. Oh yeah, it's a million dollars. Don't say so many issues. Sometimes it's up to a certain value. I was gonna say sometimes it's like a value when they're talking to kids. You have to get separate. Okay. All right. Well. I don't necessarily, I have no idea. And that might not be If it's right. worth a whole yeah. lot. What, yes, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. That would be a lot of uh, risk on our part. Risk I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. All right, I'll ask him and then go from there. Okay. So if it's not worth a huge amount, then we're, we're good to go. If, yeah, if it is, know. where it could be detrimental, we'll revisit. All right. Um, I did say I would have the veterans website or veterans page updated by this month. That didn't happen. Sorry, it's just been a very busy trying to get everything together for summer reading, um, which is starting off on tomorrow and for the teens and Saturday for everybody else, babies and little ones. Um, we have been doing staff meetings again, which has been absolutely lovely. Uh, our scholarship, thank you for everyone who voted. Um, it was given to Sadie Giamara, and she is actually someone who's come to the library since she was a very little girl. And she did some story times with us. Like she wanted to run the story time. So she ran, you know, pajama story time and read the books to the kids. And um, so she, and she was extremely grateful. And she was just like very happy to get this. For the yeah, awesome. yeah, she yeah. was great. So I did put a press release out to um, the Eastwick. I was also going to possibly put that out as well to the, um, to some of the other local papers uh, that you knew just to see if they pick it up or are interested in it. Uh, Louise has taken over uh, the social media. She's doing a great job. She didn't have <laughs> didn't have connection for a couple of days, which was why it might look slow down just a little bit. But she's back up and running, so all good. Um, I have emailed our accountants trying to get some advice on QuickBooks. I'm still waiting to hear back from them. Um, Paul, we already heard from. Uh, Rebecca is still helping with story time, and it's going really well because they split up the kids. So we have toddlers in one group and preschoolers in another, and it works out pretty well. Um, and she's volunteering her time because she says she just really wants to stay active with the library. So it's not costing us to have a great professional <laughs> helping to run story time. So um, we'll see where that goes. And we are going to continue story time over the summer. If anyone asks, story time is going on through the summer. We're going to, we will take off, I think we're going to take on like the 16th, 23rd, and the 30th. Um, like, so the very end of August, just to kind of regroup. But we're hoping that even with summer camp, we're still gonna have um, story time. 
fingers crossed that goes well. And with, with summer camp, I'm gonna do um, Fridays, we're gonna do library time again with all the kids. Mm -hmm. So whoever hasn't signed up for summer reading by then is going to sign up for summer reading <laughs> and they'll go home with their packets and it should be good. Um, so yeah, summer reading, we're, we're getting started on that and the expedition. And I did not include a picture, but I should have because the art closet has been purged, cleaned mm -hmm. and organized and it's so lovely going in there. So if anyone wants to go and see it, it's really nice. <laughs> 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 Thanks. <laughs> I had to. I was. I couldn't take it anymore. Um, so I think that's pretty much it. It's been a busy month. Okay, right, we're pretty much on track for what we thought we'd be doing. We'll see any outstanding or unusual expenses built in there. Looks like everything's pretty much okay. okay. Looks good. Anybody have any questions? Comments, concerns? Oh, you know what? I'll just say um, in terms of the uh, team nights, we have gotten um, like 400 and something dollars for uh, in donations, which is why we're able to do something a little bit more. Mm -hmm exciting for some of the kids so um yeah that donation came in through the square account so okay. you should have you can have access right okay yeah okay. Okay. it was in, in memory of somebody so um so yeah that's i just wanted to <clears throat> mention that yes yes um, we're working on figuring out if she wants it to go towards the children's room or coming up with some plans and see where we go. Mm -hmm. So, yes. Okay. Okay. Um, we're going to committee reports. So, major projects, there isn't a written report because we're meeting with Paul at six o'clock tonight. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, that wasn't a project for that. So, um, I sometimes I forget what has what we've talked about in the last meeting. So um, you know, I don't remember what how much of an update it is. So I think what we talked about last time was that, that we were we had been originally been re looking at some of the plans to scale back. Um, and then with this donation from uh, Jody's mom, um, with the folks in the children's room, we said, okay, we need to look at that again. And then there's a couple other grant opportunities and things like that. So what we wanted to do is regroup tonight with Paul and give him those updates and put him back on um, looking at what we can put together for our project that would make sense. What can we do that focuses on the children's room, which will include uh, the furnished changes because that both opens up the space in the children's room. Plus it's very grantable for sustainable energy use things. Um, Look at that and and as the focus and figure out how we sort of piece together something knowing that we have this new money looking at the grant opportunities and going from there so i think we had it felt to me like a good discussion mm -hmm. he seemed engaged again as well too um and uh, so we don't think of all the grants that leverage too you know if you want to apply for a grant you have to match right, right, right yes yeah right Plus whatever we would have kicked in, so it's a, it, it it helps a lot. So yep. uh, we set a meeting for him in July, beginning of July, uh, after he has a chance to digest this and come back with some ideas. So it feels like there's some momentum now, and I think we'll be able to 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 do something. So that is the major projects update. So you said last month we were seventy five percent matching grant. Does that mean? You provide 25 they provide 75 yes that's for these so if we threw in 20 then we get 60. and we have um we had originally been talking about being able to do some of our special projects yeah. money as well so, so yeah. more than 20. right yeah, yeah. So, and another possibility is there's these t-mobile grants that are out there that look i don't we don't know a lot about them but they don't look particularly um onerous or restrictive or anything um, so there's potential there. So there's there's a few things that are that could make this um, actually be able to to accomplish right. a project. Is there any paperwork that has to be done for the applying for that grant or? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah.
I don't think they require anything like that, um, as far as I know. Um, no, but but just the just the oh, no, the paper is going to be yeah. like we're going to be all yeah. 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 worried about the financial. Oh yeah, there. No, nope. no, nope. 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 yeah. Okay, so on to the related topic of fundraising. So the report was sent out, um, uh, and uh, I'll just tell them the uh, anything we need to discuss, which is so we had <clears throat> talked about. Well, we had talked about we put in the budget uh, that we were going to do. Uh, assume that we had asked four thousand dollars from a fundraising event, um, and we kind of have dropped the ball on that. If we're going to do that, uh, if we're going to do it, we need to start planning as soon as possible. Um, and uh, I missed a meeting this week that uh, Sarah and Kim had uh, to start to talk about ideas. And one idea came up about trying to see about the new venue, the Seventeen Cherry Plain. Certainly seems like a great venue in terms of a large space, all of that. Um, we don't know if they're they're doing group events like that. We don't know what they're doing. You know, we don't know anything yet. And we thought maybe Kim might be able to dig into that. And Mike, we see Mike is playing there. <laughs> According we to Tracy, he's not playing until I think. Well, we were thinking yeah. Harvest Festival kind yeah. of thing. So around that, you know, late October. Yeah, but I heard is that they've been packed. Yeah. And um, and everything's going well. Mm -hmm. So like that's really good for somebody to go in and say, hey, we want to. Like, you know, working with this charitable yeah. thing, you know. Uh -huh. Um and um but they have less of a need for to, to show people what they have on the on really doing well. like, <laughs> no. that will be another thing that you'd be interested in yeah. something like that. And Mike has been talking with the guy, like he's been stopping in and seeing him fairly mm -hmm. regularly. So I could definitely ask him to be an ambassador for us. Also. Great. So my concern with the timing that you guys mm -hmm. talked about after the fact, after I let that digest, mm -hmm. is it's I, I, it's, I don't, it's, it's too close to annual appeal. We can't. I don't think we can just cannibalizing annual appeal right. because it's it's unless not, unless the event was something that has really very little to do with the library, and we're attracting people because of the event itself. Well, what it's, what is what what's acceptable? Like is September also too close because we don't have that much time. You know, exactly. Like, that's what I'm. We have a new resident thing coming up on right. the sixth. Yeah, um, and you know we just have something. And we know that even last year's event, which was the 75th and whatever, it was really tough to get off the ground. Yeah, and, and it did eat in a little bit. From yes, the appeal, yeah, which, you know, it balanced out, but this time we have a specific thing. So, so really I guess another concerned. thing we could do is, is try to find a way to have a event, also have a fundraising component to it, but that's a little awkward. Yeah, you know, like yeah. Now. yeah. So welcome people. Yeah. Welcome. <laughs> 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 right, yeah. Nice you're new in town, but uh, <laughs> I mean a harvesting thing can be kind of um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I guess my larger concern is can we think of an event that is not just gonna bring in the same people who are who are gonna write the checks to us anyway. Mm -hmm. Um do we have something? And you know, Scott, you've talked different times about dances, but like, is it? Then that's a very dance space. So like, is there, is there a line dance? Know that, but, but I was just thinking, is this something that's all together now? Mm -hmm. Again, do like a theme night or something like that. Like, yeah. And like, would that attract a lot that's of people? That's what everybody to go there for. Yeah. And I know a couple people have have yeah. made comments about it, but we're going to like have line dances. Yeah. Does anybody have any? I, I know nothing about. I, I, yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, with respect to the dance, Maria, there's a whole dance culture in the area. Yeah, there yes. are certain venues where people will go. So if you have it and it's in an appropriate venue, there's a group of people who would spend a certain amount mm -hmm. to do that. And Maybe people are already yeah, like people and, will go to Crooked yeah. Bakehouse and spend a ton of money for this. Because that's that's yeah. sort of what we were talking about. She said, Yeah, that's you know a possibility. Mm -hmm. And it's a possibility that might serve the venue and mm -hmm. so but yeah, she knows she knows like, about that. I do like, not how is, like, is it like square dancing where you like no, like, call, like well, how how line line dance? Dance? Everybody just gets in the group dancing 
obsess over stuff. So you'd have to keep people obsessed over But they're, 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 they're relatively simple, so you call it out. And yeah, like, so, so it is a lot of That's what well, it is. But it's not, yeah. it's not the same as a no, it's it, it's much simpler than the problem with square dance. You don't you know, circle it. You just have them line up, and you do one step forward, one step back, shuffle the other way, shuffle the other way. But it's the same thing where there has to be somebody telling you. Yeah, yeah and a lot of yeah. once you know, once they get used to this model, this is a lot more difficult. Yeah, I think that's all. Thank you. Thank you. Ballroom stuff that they is have when someone did the demonstration. Right. You do the hour first. Yeah. 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 And then same for the swing dance. That's the evening. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but the when the cool lake has I mean, those are like $125 dinner and dancing. Maybe that was person. And they were they sold out every time. But they're on that circuit, the swing dance circuit. But mm -hmm. that that is not a swing dance. Mm -hmm. But square dancing. Line dancing, that kind of thing. Right. Yeah. Contra dancing. I was trying to think. Well, of contra dancing, like square dancing, dancing, kind of. Well, contra dancing is in a line, but not a square. Yeah. <laughs> Google is smelling. <laughs> um, I was looking to see because there's. Yeah, I think didn't like Tom Figueroa had a contra dancing thing or something that was. Yeah, he might a group of. There's, there's a lot of that going around. Yeah. Um, and I don't know what people pay for that. I don't know if it would end up yeah, being a these are well, and again it's totally yeah. different than your annual appeal crowd, that's for sure. That's, that's what I would think. Yeah. Yeah. So you yeah. can do it and like you can do it in less um is that new venue? Oh bloom. bloom. Yeah, something like that. Was it them or was it no, it's it was a, Nettie was still here. The, li the library. So it was Hancock Library. Okay. They did amazingly well there. And Nettie kept saying, we've got to do something. Got like to do the dance? That. Yeah, she did. They did a dance. And it was just the, they yeah. donate the whole thing. You know. It's for Hancock. Oh, various connections. Oh, OK. Gotcha. Well, that was why they did so well. Okay, got it. <laughs> we might be able to work something out with some of Jerry Square, Jerry Plain Square, whatever, though, because in theory, people would pay to come to the dance, you wouldn't be letting them drink first. They're going to spend their money drinking there. Mm -hmm. You know, even if it's called soda, it would be 50 You know, <laughs> but it, um, that was, then, so I think this is worth looking into. I don't know if we're gonna timing wise how this will work, and we may not be able to meet our goal for the event this year. But it seems like it's worth pursuing because even if we should, okay, we'll do something, you know, mid winter or something, yeah. or you know, so people agree that's sort of a something to pursue. Yeah, I mean, it, it, either that or find a way to get an additional four thousand through the annual right, right, <laughs> which we can do through our new board member. We'll give her that oh, yeah. task. <laughs> Oh, so you're supposed to raise the money? Here we go. <laughs> An extra 4000 for the annual. That doesn't sound any sooner. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't think it's going to change anything. Yeah. 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 And it also makes it easier to respond to people. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, but I don't, I don't think that's going to translate into probably not. <laughs> about like trying to get to an annual event if we're going to try to establish an annual impact. something that has appeal outside of the library crowd mm -hmm. like a dance thing having it more april in, in that's it's far away from the annual appeal mm -hmm. um it's before people are kicking in for the you know i feel yeah. like may mm -hmm. comes and I'm, I don't want to do anything outside of my yard, <laughs> you know, um, or or fun at the beach kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, October is, you know, there's it's back to so, yeah. and then you're, you know, don't come in as Halloween and then Christmas. Mm -hmm. And it seems like April, still starting to now. Yeah. yeah. And it's still sort of depressing. Yeah. Yeah. So I, mean, I think that's I think that's yeah. a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, as opposed to trying to force it into having it happen this year. Right, National Library Week. 
is in April. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that so might also tie it in. That would be yeah, a really cool thing. Yeah. April, uh, uh, April 23rd through the 29th. Oh, no, but it's a totally different crowd. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. You're yeah. Not, you're I not, think if the event has some sort of value in an entertainment so. value, yeah, exactly, or an event yeah. value, and you've got a, you've got a built-in from... audience because these you know people you know dance and get people totally different crowd than the ones you're sending letters to to raise money for the library. Actually, the idea was to have a fundraising event that appeals to people. Don't no, really care about the right. Exactly. Yeah. 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 I just want to go to events. Yeah. Charge like fifty bucks for advances. Yeah, it's a hell of a deal. Yeah. Right. Yeah, hundred people show up. <laughs> so let's let's start looking into this. We'll see what we can do. I mean, is, is there any certain hall that you want to hire it out? I mean, you could have it at the fireman field. No. I mean, you could. It just is that. Is it more appealing to go to a new venue that yes. has got, yeah. got the uh, more sit out to the venue with built in? Yeah, it might be fun. Yeah, and it was good. Yeah, apparently. Mm -hmm. I, I heard. Um, Good. All right. So we've got some work to do on that. Um, nothing else else to say on that. Elio, we have made that purchase because they have a free three month deal. Blah blah blah. I went to the first little training session. And I need to get focused. I think next week I'll have more time to start looking at that because I think I would like to see if we can at least upload. Yeah, to some degree. Rather well, than it's, it's a lot of data entry, but it's, yeah, you really can't. You can't pop the system. Well, you can upload a Excel dot sheet. So, um, and they say they will help you with the initial upload. So, if we can clean, I can get the sheet cleaned up enough. Even if we have to go back and make some changes. I, I, I do that. I that's a long time. Yeah. Five hundred. Yeah. 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 It's grown by five percent because of that system. Because it's so easy to keep track of everything. Yeah. yeah. I think it is going to be. I mean, it is going to be important. Okay. All right. Eight o'clock. Uh, random marketing. Random marketing. Um, our programming survey. We basically decided that we've come to the end of the road with it. We have thirty-four complete, so I'll we'll write up a report on the findings. Um, some of it's sort of interesting. Um, uh, I'll have a report for next month. Um, meeting. Um, as far as the second new resident welcome event, um, which is taking place August 6th from 11 to 1, we're planning to do a bagel and cream cheese thing and then ask people that want to come to bring like a cup of their favorite fruit and then we'll put all the fruits together for a big community fruit salad. Um, I sent it, uh, saved the data out to all the not for profit partners in town, didn't hear anything back from anybody. Followed up again with Arlene. She said, Oh, there's something that we're doing just the week before. I don't know how that's going to work. And I said, There isn't really much that it demands of you other than to have a welcome kid and have somebody here to be a friendly face. And I haven't heard back from her since that. So hopefully they will still do it. I also updated the press release from last time. So it's ready to go, except for I need to know if. Um, the Historical Society is going to co-sponsor or not because that language is in there. And also it would be great if um, we had a decision on what we were going to follow up, the what, what program would follow up. Oh, right, right. So that I can say, uh, stay later for the block. Right, yeah. And, and yeah. I'm not planning to send it out until early July, so we have time, but. And last time we co-sponsored it with them because it's a library and it's following it. Yeah, we don't need to. Right. Um, need to. I, I told her it's really more for you. It's a co-branding right. opportunity if yeah. you're interested. In. If she doesn't get back to me, I'll just take the language out at the end of that. And I did mention it to the fire department again this week and pointed out the fact that we got three, basically three new members through the event. So right. it's a worthwhile yeah, event. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so the other thing we need to do for that is to update the existing flyers since we have them, you know, we just need to change the details and dates on those. So that'll be fairly easy. And start at the letter thing to send out to the 
the mailing and a like a personalized note and started that this week. Great. And then hoping that you know as many trustees as possible would will come as you did last time just to be friendly, welcoming folks. So it was kind of a fun event, I thought. I didn't know Zoom. And I was going to talk about the Harvest Festival thing, but we've already kind of covered that. Um, so at this point, as far as that goes, we're we're thinking trying to get some dance together, still thinking about 17 Cherry Plain and then and that Mike will be the well if we want, I mean, uh, or if he can make an introduction or whatever, or but but yeah, he's definitely got a relationship with that. Okay, all right. And he's playing there at some point. Okay, everything else that we talked about in the meeting is, has pretty much been covered. Um, I went to the indivisible thing more for the food pantry and um, there was a beekeeper there who was really kind of interesting local and uh, Kim was interested in possibly having her come in as part of the speaker series. Um, so we followed up with her and we're um, hear back on that. Otherwise, that's it. Like staying around the 23rd, wasting a half hour in a week. Oh, okay. So I'll talk to you about what we want after that. Or I could maybe even do it. Yeah, okay. Um, maybe um, Deborah might be interested in tagging along if you make it a social thing. Well, I'll reach out to her too then. Okay. <laughs> I, I blew off my. I have to check the dates. Yeah, one, one, one or the other. I'll mention it to her okay. and then you can also. Okay. All right. Don't um, okay. Uh, building and grounds. Uh, it's pretty much all in the, all in the report. Um, I don't really need to go over anything, but a nice thing, a nice thing to close out some junk there on your chest. But what they do in the front gardens, they are looking to be hard. It looks like it. Um, I think it stopped for a minute there. No, the internet's been going out like every few minutes. I'm looking there. So that's like here. Here. So thank you for all of the difficult meetings, Scott, on those gardens. Um, wait, what are we thinking, Scott, for just so it's weeding? Weeding. Oh, weeding. <laughs> Weed. <laughs> <laughs> One new item, we sort of knew about it, but I uh, couldn't remind us again, the door uh, over here on the, to the deck. I have a bit of a hole in it, so. <laughs> There's always something. <laughs> uh, recruitment, no written report, but just to say that uh, um, Deborah's going to be coming to the July meeting and starting. If you've already been looking at our annual appeal letters and talking, and, and she's she's all fired up and eager to go, and uh, should be should be good. Yeah. All right. Can I just move on? Oh, yeah. before we get off. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. After we off, I just want to throw an easy question there too. Oh, okay. Go. Um, the tent is up. Okay. <laughs> and clean. And clean. Yeah. It smells good. Yeah. 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 One of the camp and has been a counselor for many years, I guess. Mm -hmm. and, I mean, I'm just meeting her, so but from what I understand, she's been around for a long time and she did a great job. We interviewed two, her and another woman, and we made her choice, I think. So it's going to be good. She's really familiar with the camp and community, and she's really clear and she's feeling good. A lot of energy <laughs> <laughs> and doesn't have another job at the moment. So, um, we've got a field trip plan and Sarah has a field trip plan. Mm -hmm. And then lots of other programs coming. I think we still have like one or two days. So, if anyone has suggestions for a program that can come here, be free. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is a um, fantasy. 
Okay. Okay. The museum at Skidmore. Okay. Yeah, they used to come and do the coolest programs at the library. I don't know if they've had that in years because I don't. Yeah. I don't even remember. I haven't seen that in the previous ones, but I'm like. Yeah. Well, also, have, do you ever have honest work time? Do they still do their thing? They haven't come in years. The last time they came, it was not a very successful oh. program. So it was decided not to mm -hmm. ask them to come back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At least that's my memory of it. I could mm -hmm. be wrong. It might be um, might be confusing, but I'm pretty sure that that's what it is. They do like um, ask my children to cut up fruit and stuff and make smoothies or pickles oh. them. Yeah. Well, okay. no, maybe. Well, no. I mean, well, it could be. Um, I was yeah. in the librarian decades ago. <laughs> <laughs> and I like the idea. Every time I've been here, someone's been asking for an application. Yeah. Application. Yeah. yeah. I have to look and see how many we've gotten back. It, it always comes in. They always come in at the very last minute. So. Yeah. I have to <laughs> <laughs> But um, and then the swim lessons are getting organized. Dan Sanders completed last year, and the, the application uh, are going to be are available for people. Yeah. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, they had an at-home spot. Okay. Okay. Still going. Okay. 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 No, thank you to, to you and her. I know there's a lot that goes on this time of year for planning this and Kim too. So yeah. Yeah. Well, it's moving along. Yeah. All right. You want to say something a little strategic? Kim. She's not there. It seems like she was really on that one. <laughs> so I just want to say if you're doing things. For the library, um, it, it send what you're doing to Kim and me because we need to throw that into the plan as as important as what we're doing. Right. So let us know if you attend a meeting or attend a training or whatever. Um, we really would like it to be something where everything all of us are doing is reflected. Everybody spends a lot of time mm -hmm. on, on library stuff, so it will be reflected and. Um, the next in July, we'll have the second quarter. Um, so as you started to see, like visually, what was going on, it should be like even way more visual. Mm -hmm. So, so something like the programming survey, the combination mm -hmm. of getting input from the community and also yeah, like, writing up the and results. You you will plug it in where you see fit, or you, or you can. It, it, we I we can do that, but if you from <laughs> like, hey, I'm doing this because it fits right here. Then, Okay. okay too. All right. Yeah. Which, however you want to do it. Okay. Uh, old business. So last time um, <clears throat> we brought up, um, I think it stands for now. Steven Town. Oh shoot. Steven Town. <laughs> oh, that's the energy town. Yeah. yeah. Steve, oh. C stands. Clean energy <laughs> communities. I mean, clean, clean, yeah, clean energy, energy communities. So uh, it's a, 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 a new uh, committee that the working with the town board, similar to what has gone on in New Lebanon, uh, they're able to work on things that help. Um, uh, sorry, and I didn't refresh my memory on how to say this. So uh, like in New Lebanon, so if you if so many people sign up for uh, um, <laughs> solar. Uh, not solar panels, but you know, get, getting your solar energy, your electricity through that. Uh, you get the town gets so many points, mm -hmm. and then and then that all builds to being able to fund things in the town to make energy improvements and such. Anyway, they need um, they need to have some local partners that uh, just basically say that they are uh, on board with the, the mission. Um, and on the library side, if we were to decide to be a partner, they just might want to uh, just have us help, um, like host a host a program 
which we would probably do anyway. Um, so something like that. So we brought it up last time. The group that was here was pretty much in agreement, but because we had several people missing, Scott wanted us to um, pull it over to this meeting to see if other people had any items they wanted to discuss about that or um, feelings on that. <laughs> and I, you know, they were part of the. Um, they had a table at the Indivisible, mm -hmm. right? As well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think they were advertising some of the um, uh, options for. <laughs> My brain stopped working about five minutes ago. <laughs> Maybe it was longer than that. Uh, heat pumps, heat pump, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Information on heat pumps and. Yeah. 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 Nice, nice organization, nice mm -hmm. people that are interested in doing good stuff. Mm -hmm. Community education they, part that fits in with our team. Everybody good if we, I'll let Michelle know that we're okay with that? Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. Okie dokie. Uh, bylaw reviews. Kim, any more from? No, not yet. I just sent him the, um, the bylaws, but he said he would be happy to send them for us. Okay. Capcom account cleanup with the Melanie situation. Oh, uh, man. I mean, I looked at the last minute notes in the last meeting and I didn't see anything in there. Oh. I'm like, oh. <laughs> okay, that's the Melanie issue. Yeah, I know. You're trying to see if. Trying to see if just, just so you know, too, the um, credit card expires at the end of this year. So, and her name, Melanie's name is still on the credit card. So, you just never got a new one. So, <laughs> well, it says Steventown Library, and then it says her name underneath. So I mean, we can still use it, obviously, but um, we'll need to. That'll have to be changed at some point. Yeah. It's probably linked with our social as well. It it's is. not a good thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is because you have to use. If you deposit change in their change machine, you have to use her social as the pin number. Oh, geez. So, oh, yeah, we've got a chat. Yes. <laughs> yes. Or her, the last four of her social. I should say, not Regardless, we need the change. Yeah. Thank you, Richard. I appreciate it. Quick books, Peter. You are waiting. The accountants. And then. Um, Upper Hudson's responding to challenges. I just left this on there because some people were going to attend some of the sessions. I didn't know anybody attended. That was in June. I did not. I did not too. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to try, but I was not able to get there. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. I mean, okay. stay, stay strong. Don't worry about it. <laughs> we're good. <laughs> But they are going to do another one of like they're doing a repeat in August of one of the other two. So, who knows? Uh, we'll see what guys, um, remote, yes. So, like, if you need a couple credits, we can do it. set one up and do it remotely. <laughs> would be convenient. Okie dokie. Uh, no public is here. Any new business? One fundraising. Fundraising thing. Uh, when is Forfeit Foul and the Thanks. fire? Um, the 19th. Fire oh, yeah. Were we going to do something um, to see if we could raise some money while those events are going on? Is there a conflict about the program? That. No, it, no, I just will have just come home from, all, from Italy that day. Oh. So I won't be able to do. We can bring stuff for you to leave. So, <laughs> mushrooms. Uh, I don't think you can bring. We can bring the dried mushrooms. Oh, okay. Angel, fill your suitcases. Oh, I'm sure there can be smell. Yeah. And bread. 
Mm. Okay, maybe that won't work. But Probably not, but I do think that something should happen. Well, we should so. Yeah. Um, that's fine of me. I, I, I will not be that day, so. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm, I'm not I coming back from Italy. I'm excited. <laughs> I told him. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I can see if I can't help plan something and then you know, during the month of July and August, and then you guys can run it. And I will come and say hi after I get a make sure call in. You guys yeah. good? We're good. Do you happen to know in the past when we did participate, how much we brought in? So the bake sale was when we did just the bake sale at the park. Yeah. Um, I don't, you sold Potter. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, my stuff's much nicer now. <laughs> it really is. I'm not you your trading program. <laughs> I'm afraid. Yeah. You bought that crappy last year. You get a lighter one and a bigger <laughs> one. That's your glazing. And we didn't, we had a, we had. We had, a, we had a program last year here that was, I mean, it wasn't related. It was, wasn't I'm trying to remember what we did. I don't remember. I remember the snow cones. But I don't remember when we did <laughs> when the snow, snow cones. Um, that was fun. That, that was, that wasn't awesome. that, didn't we have a bake? Cupcakes and snow cones. It was like all sorts of wonderful trash food. Oh, didn't we do, did we do like a summer kickoff? Or summer? No, that would have been summer. Maybe that was summer, end, end of summer. Yeah. Um, I am like too. This is thing. kind of irritating. Maybe. I just remember it was a lot. Um, I'm trying to figure it out. I could figure it out if I just walk over to my office and get my calendar. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I, mean, I think before we try, we were trying to do things on the grounds, like not, you know, it's not in this car show, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but like, oh, here. Yeah. There is, yeah. mm -hmm. about there's a lot of oh, people, right. so what do we do? Oh, I think we did um, Birds of Prey at one point. Oh, okay. okay. I don't think that's this past one. I think it was the year before yeah. we did Birds of Prey. We also have done, um, like, the market. Uh, you know, um, the maker's market, we did quite a few times, but that only brings in like 20 bucks a table. So that's not, you know, that's not lucrative at all. And you were interested in trying a couple of birds of prey with the new residents. That, yeah, that's what I just wrote down on my thing here. So yeah, that was kind of, um, and then the other thing we have done, we did a carnival one year where, you know, I set up a whole bunch of games mm -hmm. and the kids had to pay per ticket. And I don't know how much we made off of it. It wasn't a lot because it was, you know, a dollar a ticket or something like that, 50 cents. So um, let me see if I can figure out instead of, you know, walking the two seconds it takes. It's hard to think of something that doesn't also uh, step on what the other two the organizations are doing. Right. Yeah. yeah. You want it to be sort of. They've got food, they've got booze, they've got, the, got, they've got music, they've got yeah, vendors, yeah. they've got, it's like, okay, well, what else is there? Um, we've got books. That's the most sale. Okay. We ran out of cookies. <laughs> we've got run out of books. <laughs> At the end of the sale, okay, two bags, one dollar. Yep. I don't think we did anything. So it's just Is this in like in conjunction with Stephen Town Day? I don't or? think we did anything. Well, that's what it used to we, be. Okay. It used to be celebrate Stephen Town, then that has gone away. But then Fort Fowl has been doing their own. What is, what is it? What is, oh, oh, that's yeah. They have music. 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 They have yeah, so that weekend we did um, end of summer reading, which was our ice cream party. And I tried to get the songwriting and, you know, music mm -hmm. with 
the river jack see that that didn't happen. And then we did a um, live at the library, but that was it. So I don't know. This must be two years ago. <laughs> well, two years ago would have been right in the middle of COVID, right? We didn't. I had a snow cone. <laughs> 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 we had all sorts of like ridiculous flavors and colors. stuff that makes you, you know, tongue purple. The good stuff. Yeah. Well, I would say if there's something we, it, it doesn't feel like there's an obvious option, and certainly not one that's like an obvious fundraising option. You know, usually if there's something kids related, because I know. I'm, I'm not feeling anything coming right to, yeah. to mind. Of, um, this is unrelated, but related in the sense of could potentially be a fundraising opportunity. Um, and I know we've talked about it before, but Michelle Van Horn again asked about having a community garden. And I know she's thinking more in terms of um, food, which I think we thought was, you know, produce, which I think we thought was like too too much for us to take on, but maybe a, a flower garden where people could pay for bouquets <laughs> might be. It would be. I don't know if the grounds are are well set up for for growing stuff like that, but if they are, it could be really kind of nice and a way that we could make money throughout the summer. Yeah, that's awesome. Labor intensive. Yeah. Yes. The soil is probably compacted. Probably need some enrichment. Probably do raise beds, but that's a whole project. Mm -hmm. There are some nice projects to be done around there, but certainly <laughs> there are people who are willing to weed, yeah. tend, and all that sort of stuff. Right. So, and I think her idea was to do it. That was her idea. My concern out here with all of these things is people move out here to have their own places where they do all this. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. yeah, they don't. It's not the city. They don't need this. Um, yeah, although some people just don't have either the right sun or the right yeah. space. Yeah, um, yeah. Or they don't have you. Yeah. Yeah. And they're looking at making broken cell phones and helping put the soil in the whole series. So it's nice. Yeah. Well, just something to think about. I know it's not like a slam dunk for us or anything. But, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, the North Island started as a huge part of Target Hunger. It's still happening. I think there's maybe 20 different places, summer schools, summer neighborhoods, whatever. But um, the last few years, there's been an intern. Whose job it is to take care of them because you don't get it. People come and pick cherry pick this. Like as far as taking right. even yeah. watering, they just don't do it. Yeah. 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 I can't. So that's something I'm really hating housing by because it's like a great air. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Any other new business? There's no correspondence. So shall we adjourn? Well, <laughs>